Hello, how you doing folks? John with A&J Outdoors and we're out here to do another uh, boat upgrade or install, whichever you want to call it. So we got the, uh, the motor guide trolling motor on the front. It's mounted directly to the deck, but I would like to be able to remove it when I want for security reasons, for travel reasons or whatever. So what I bought is quick disconnect for a trolling motor. So what I have to do now is I've got to pull this trolling motor off, which is going to be some work. Uh, and then I got to mount the mounting plate for the quick disconnect, mount the other one on the trolling motor, and then uh, make sure it's all lined up because this is a G uh, GPS operated trolling motor. So there's certain settings you have to get right on it so it trolls properly for the boat. So that's what we're going to do today. So well, let's dive into it. All right, first thing we got to do is there's two mounting screws on each side of this trolling motor. Take this plate off. Once you take that plate off, you should be able to access the mounting. Uh, system mounting it to the deck. So we got large Phillips head. These can seize up on you a little bit. So just be careful. You might have to break them loose. There we go. That's how easy it is. So there you go. Side plate, two screws, done. You can go do the same thing on the other side. Done. All right, let's get a closer look at what we're dealing with. All right, so we're looking at the side of the trolling motor. We've got three mounting points. This bolt, another screw head, another bolt directly underneath this, and it looks exactly the same on the other side. So what I'm gonna have to do is, first I'm gonna deploy the trolling motor so it's up out of the way. Then I'm gonna have to remove this screw from this side and the other side so that step can move up a little bit and that should give me access to these mounting points, okay? Exact same on the other side. Now the drawback is each one of these has a nut underneath it. To get to that nut, I'm gonna have to go in through my anchor box right here. So I'll be laying up there trying to unscrew or hold these and turn those on the inside, okay? Also, a little game we're gonna play. If you can guess what size nut that is or bolt, right you get a free decal as long as you're in continental united states you can guess what size that head is first one to guess it down in the comments right down in the comments post your size guess first one to get the correct size earns himself a decal all right time to get to work on this thing let's see what happens All right. Oh, dang. Might have made a boo-boo. No, it's still there. Forgot about it. All right, come on, you. Get out of there. There you are. All right, so when you remove those two screws for the pedal, right, this all lifts up out of the way a little bit, they've got a bushing, right? The screw goes through this bushing, and the bushing goes between this and where the screw goes in. So do not lose these bushings. All right, so now we've got to get up under here through that hatch and see if there's a way we can access the bottom of these. There's gotta be, that's how they installed it, but we'll see how difficult that is. Another thing I want you to see real quick. You see how the mounting spots are notched, right? These three on this side are gonna be the hardest to get to because they're the furthest from my opening there. So if I can just loosen these three, take out the three on the other side, this should be able to slide over and off just like that. All right, so we'll see. That's the theory. We'll see if it plays out that way. All right, <laughs> we found another wrench of the size we need, which is up to you to figure out what that is. All right, so what, yeah, what you missed so far, we got that side started, but I've realized that this bracket is just blocking. Come here. This bracket is still 
too low and it's blocking these things from coming up and out. So what we're doing now is we're removing this one. Already did it on the other side, did it on this side. That should allow that to move up higher so we can get those guys out. So that's what we're doing now. The one on this side is a little bit stubborn. There you go. Now I gotta get back up in the boat. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, that should help a lot. Okay. Back in the boat. Get back to work on the other side. Well, there you go. We got the motor off. I didn't uh, film that part because I was kind of busy doing it. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is a two-person job. When you have to get up under the deck like I did to hold those nuts on the bottom side. Um, so Audrey came out and helped me immensely get the last couple loose. Uh, like I said, I do. I got them all off of one side, and then the other three on the other side were loose enough that we could just slide it off. So that worked fine. Next thing to do is see how this mounting plate's got to mount on the boat and on the trolling motor so that it all goes together again. So that's next. All right, a lot of noise in here. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear this. We got the plate mounted to the bottom of the trolling motor. One of the problems was is when it was mounted to the boat, to the boat, the bolts went through this way, right? So I had a bolt head here and the big long screw sticking out in the boat that I had to get nut off of. Well, mounting this, you have to take the bolts this way. And if you remember, this rail was in my way to get at those heads, right? And I had to undo this one and another one so that we could move it up a little bit. Well, when I put these bolts in, these bolts stuck way up here. There was no way I was going to be able to put that back together. So I got out the handy dandy Dremel with a cutoff wheel, and I've cut the two ends off on this side. I still got to do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll move forward with the install. Now, one thing I found to be very uh, valuable over my years of working on stuff, tearing stuff apart, trying to put it back together, and definitely messing some things up is photos, right? Through the process of removing stuff, you take pictures, and even before we had the the old cell phones, yes, I'm that old. Uh, but cell phones make it even easier. You can do video or picture, wherever you want. So I took a picture of how this thing was together uh, before I tore into it. So I'm gonna have to refer to that picture to make sure I get this put back together right because we got the base on it, right? So now we got to uh, get the rail lined up the way it was and mount it with the screws that we took out and then we can get this cap back in properly and get the sides on. And we're done messing with this end for now. We'll go to the front of the boat, we'll drill our holes for that base plate and mount it. Hopefully it goes easier than it was taking the old one off. And then uh, it's a simple thing of slapping this on top of that one. And we'll see how simple that really is. Okay, so we got the two screws, one for each side. Uh, and the little washers that came with it. Luckily we didn't lose any. So, first, this kind of go this way a little bit. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. There's, there's no threading on the top half of that screw because it doesn't thread into this. This still all needs to be able to move. So you need to tighten it, but don't tighten it so tight that this can't do what it's supposed to do. There's an easy balance there. And if you're a technical mechanic guy, you'd be saying, hey, there's a, I'm sure there's a torque spec for it. And I'm sure there is, but I don't have that information available. So I'm just tightening it down as tight as I can get it without making it, uh, and that's it. You can tie it as tight as you want, it still moves. So it's designed well. All right, I'm gonna jump on the other side and do the same thing. You're probably gonna not be able to see that. <laughs> So remember for the other spot, we got a larger bolt and a bigger bushing. Hopefully you can focus on that. There you go. And that one's up here. <laughs> this is always one of my greatest fears finish a project like this and it just doesn't work or you got leftover pieces that you shouldn't have left over. 
Everybody looks happy. All right. I want to do so. I want to collapse this thing. Let's see what happens when we do that up here. No, that's right. There we go. Oh, I see what's the problem. Okay, so we gotta get it off the edge. We gotta turn it. Collapse it. Don't try that at home, kids. There we go. Everybody looks happy. All right, so you see we had taken the uh, trolling motor off. Since then, I've filled the old holes, right? This is a two-part epoxy. JB Weld Marine, really, it works great. Uh, this stuff's not gonna be seen again because it's covered by the troll motor, so it's not that big of a deal. And then you can see I marked an area. That's where our base is gonna mount. So I marked it with grease pencil, right? Grease pencil comes off real easy, so just so I'm not uh, marring up my finish up here, even though you're not gonna see that area again unless you take the troll motor off. Um, so the next step is we're gonna set the thing on here, line it up, drill one hole, and then we're going to drop a bolt through that and that makes sure it doesn't move around too much and drill the rest of the holes. And then we'll be ready to, to mount it up. Again, I'm gonna to have to go underneath, reach through that compartment to get the nuts and washers on from the bottom side, which is probably gonna be the least fun part of this whole thing. Okay. Now, if you just watched my other video, um, mounting that boarding ladder, I drilled holes for screws. And so I wanted to match that drill bit to that screw so that if the drill bit was too big, that screw's not gonna catch in the hole. If it's too small, too much force trying to put it in and you break the screw. So you had to get a, a good size. You had to line it up pretty good, make sure it's right. These are bolts, not as quite as big a deal because you just need a hole big enough for that bolt to go through, right? A little big, it's okay. A little small it won't fit so you know you just gotta go bigger so it's not as big a deal uh select just put a, a drill bit over that bolt and if the drill bit's a little wider than the bolt bingo you're good all right for the first one i gotta get it right that's uh, pretty accurate Go ahead and drop one right here. guy gets a steel washer on the top side Come your washers and then he's gonna have a rubber bushing on between the boat that's not rubber that's poly between the boat and the and the bottom of this but we're not gonna do those yet I'm just putting this one in to hold it in place for the other drill drill marks A little tight. I might, I might could have gone up one step. Let's see what you look like. Yeah, we'll go up one more bit size. Not gonna make it hard on ourselves. He's in. All right, now. We're gonna put some of that 5200 on these. 
actually I'm contemplating whether I'm going to use 5200 because it has those pieces there and the previous install had no 5200 because it's completely covered I don't care we're gonna put a little bit we're gonna put a little bit 5200 on there We got to trade places because I got to lay up there where you're at, Mr. Camera people, and open that hatch and reach up under there and try to get some nuts and washers on the bottom side of that. The heads on these ones, these bolts, are an Allen wrench. Don't have to use the Allen wrench. So it's going to be difficult because it wants me to put rubber bushing nylon metal washer and then the nut so got to hold all those on and then be able to put the nut on let's see how easy it is with the first one ouch I got one bunch of stuff there well that's an issue that bolt is not oh that ain't a bolt is it Oh, there goes my first drop. Let's put these down for a minute. Yeah, there's no bolts to get through. <laughs> ah, well, there's another challenge. The bolts aren't long enough. All right, so what you missed was a run to the hardware store to get one more bolt for this. Of course, I bought a couple different ones just to see what one works best. So get back up in there. that to tighten it all the way because you risk tearing shit up but it was a long bolt so I was able to get close and now I just crank it uh, uh, wait that turn uh, done with that let's see how this thing mounts up folks all right the moment of truth has arrived. Let's see if we can get this bad boy on there. Okay. The locking pin. Locked. It's got a little play because of that design, but She's on. Will patch door. Yes. Well, actually, that's what we came to do. Get the plate installed. It looks like it's going to be a winner. So, folks, do me a favor. <laughs> if you want to see me suffer through more installs like this one, it was much more challenging than I thought it was going to be, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, there's a little bell by it. Hit that to get notifications when I uh, upload a new video and uh, check out some of my other uh, you do it type videos. They'll be up in the corner, probably over here or over here somewhere. That'll be a playlist, so you can just pick out the ones you wanna watch. And give this one a big thumbs up because I'd really appreciate that after this install. 
All right, folks, peace out. There's going to be a lot of editing. That is a long freaking bolt. It's going to take me half a day to get that off. Let's fast forward until that's done. And now let's figure out why we have no power at the damn trolling motor. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, I've got to undo the 